Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan selamat petang to all of you in attending this uh, virtual Ezri Direction Live Malaysia 2020. Uh, my name is Abdurrahman bin Yahya. Uh, as a GS Head Unit in Idaman Sina Berhad. Today, we present and share our experience in uh, GIS development in solid waste management industry, especially in uh, Idaman Sina Berhad. During the presentation, you can ask question in uh, the chat room provider. Inshallah, I will answer it or the team will have to answer it. Okay, we go to GIS background. Uh, GS unit has established uh, in 2012. The main purpose uh, of this unit is uh, to develop and prepare the spatial database, or we can we can call it uh, inventory database, with a coordinate as per requirement in uh, solid waste and public cleansing concession agreement under clause 11, establishment and maintenance of database. Uh, the second one is uh, uh, to support operation and and planning. We're using GIS as a base tool for operation and planning of solid waste collection and public cleansing, such as uh, to create zoning or scheme area, uh, planning numbers of vehicle and uh, zoning allocate, allocate of manpower. The third one is uh, data inventory and network analysis. We compile all GS data inventory into a uh, geodatabase and prepare network analysis for better route optimization. The fourth one is uh, following field monitoring. We're using drone image in calculating the volume of waste dump and main field. Uh, next is uh, GS development. For GS development in Idaman, Sinarbahad, we separate into four stages. Firstly, is a data gathering stage. We start uh, capturing data with inventory for Kedah and Kalis from 2012 uh, till 2015. We collect uh, on solid waste collection and cleansing activity. Where the collection such as uh, location of every waste bin located at every houses uh, and also type of bin, the addresses were totally around uh, 370,000 uh, points for Kedai Police. And for cleansing activities such as uh, measurement of root length, drain length and grass uh, area. Also, we have capture beach area where we do services on beach cleaning, especially in, in Langkawi. We take around uh, three more years to complete all activities. For data processing and make production, we're using RG desktop. For next 2016, we enhance uh, and improving our inventory data capturing by using uh, drone and GPS. And we use uh, PIX4D software for image processing. And we, we're still using drone till now for capturing for new area development and also for link field uh, monitoring. The second stage is uh, geodatabase development. Uh, from 2017, we are almost done from capturing of all data. And now we manage to centralize around more than 100 layer into database system. From that, we purchase uh, IGIS online and try to make some application to publish the data online. And from 2018, we decide to purchase IGIS Enterprise. And Alhamdulillah, we have full support from our management, we start develop and install IGIS uh, Enterprise uh, standard into our server. From 2019, uh, we start develop and install IGIS Enterprise. We start uh, develop application such as a smart MV being formed, 
Smart MV customer and Kotek Tazuni. And 2020, we uh, we purchased uh, drone RTK and also GPS uh, high accuracy RTK. And then we collaborate the, the database with uh, SROCOP where SROCOP is uh, the uh, government agency to monitor uh, the solid, solid waste and clean scene activity. The first stage is uh, to develop a smart uh, NV Geo Hub, where Idaman will be uh, as a hub database center for another region, where we will use by others agency, not only internally, such as uh, state government, local authority, private sector, and, and public we use the data in the application. Next is uh, GIS activity. We start for collection and cleansing activity. We first stage is we have to collect on the ground using GPS and drone for collection and cleansing activities. And then we export uh, the data if you use drone, we export to PIX4D to process image processing. And we're using uh, this desktop to, for editing, analysis, and produce inventory and mapping. The third stage is uh, uh, to, store, to store the inventory into the into database in uh, GS server. And then from that, we will produce, uh, we will export the output into EBLA system, which is called Automatic Vehicle Location System. GIS houses coordinate point will upload in EBLA system, where every collection vehicle will has a GPS unit. It around 200 vehicle has been installed the GPS to monitor the movement of vehicle based on schedule has been created and to make sure all bin has been collected. Uh, next is uh, the view from the system. You can show the, the every house's bin collection point and also the movement of vehicle. And if it arrives at the bin point with certain time, the system will automatically change the point, point from red color to green color. Now we show now in the system, all in green color. This means all been in the this area has been collected. Uh, it also have a, a summary report where it show how many bin has been collected and how many bin is miscollected. From the screen, we can see the miscollected point is about uh, 167 points. Uh, and the spoiler of that area has to justify into the system for every point why it's miscollected, whether there is an obstacle in the road, such as uh, within 10 or house owner park the car outside the road, will obstruct the vehicle to cross the road. From that, our team will know, we know first the reason of miscollection miscollection point before we receive the complaint from the public. Uh, next is uh, we store the data into ODIS. We call it uh, online data inventory system. Online data inventory system is a system uh, will update uh, data from public who receive the houses receptacle bin. For houses area, we, can, we, we receive uh, 120 liter, and for commercial area, we receive 240 liter bin. Every recipient of bin will fill in the form, and the data will integrate with uh, GIS coordinate system, and will store in all this system for monitoring and auditing. Uh, next is uh, from the data we can produce uh, digital map and hard copy map. This is an example of two map from the same area, where on the left is the final map without using drone image, on using a uh, GPS, and on the right is the map 
uh, with the drone image. This map, this map will inspect first by our operation team with uh, HROCOP before it finalized and agreed by the both party. Okay, this show the map without uh, drone image. The second one is uh, we can uh, show from the map is the the point the blue point is the houses point and the uh, uh, line in the the blue is a uh, is a drain and uh, the green uh, green is the grass area and from the bottom we can see the attribute the attribute of uh, such as numbers of houses type of houses and for drain we can uh, uh, show is a uh, whether it's open or closed drain, the length of drain, and for grass, we can calculate the, the area of grass. Uh, next is uh, landfill monitoring. Where is Idaman is operated? Two landfill, one in Kedah, it's called uh, Jabi landfill, and one in Polis, it's called uh, Rimbamas landfill. Okay, I will, I will show you the video. The video shows uh, the, the panorama of uh, Rima Maslin Field. Okay, the video shows the uh, the panorama of uh, Rima Maslin Field we capture using uh, drone. From the video, you can see the uh, we can manage to separate the waste to minimize to minimize the waste goes to the field. And from uh, GS Park, we manage to monitor the volume of waste dumping in the field. We use the image to calculate the volume uh, by monthly basis. Okay. Next is a uh, GIS application. For GIS application, we have uh, developed many apps integrated with other departments in Idaman, such as available system, smart MV beam form for operation team, smart MV cash monitoring for our subsidiary, subsidiary company called uh, GRSB, smart MV customer for corporate communication department. And for HR, we develop uh, interviews, interview form by using survey one to three in other kind of survey. We will utilize the application from our portal. I will show you in detail. First uh, is a uh, smart MV beam form. We use in web apps with the developer and operation dashboard. The second one is a uh, smart cache maintenance survey. We using survey water three and web apps with the dashboard. This is our beam form using our uh, app builder for customer registration. When you see the when the the, uh, the public receive the receptacle beam form from our near nearest depot area, it will fill in the form with attachment of personal ID and bill utilities as a, as a, uh, requested by Esbroco. From the map shows the red and green color where the, where the green is the the owner already received the receptacle bin, and the red color didn't receive the receptacle bin. It is easy to our operation site to plan and manage to send the bin to the target area. Okay. 
This is a dashboard for smart bin form. We're easily to our management team to show the summary of bin distribution progress. From that, uh, it showed the total house of bin around 370,000 points and total distribution is around 140,000. The system also show how many new uh, housing area that receiving the bin is around 3,000 and how many been uh, damaged and lost from the system. From the system, uh, the management can uh, we can uh, reduce of paper usage, usage to save the environment in the dying place. And the second one is uh, reduce the uh, loss loss of data from hard copy form. The second one is a uh, smart MV cache maintenance. The application is using a survey one to three for our supervisor on the site to update the condition of cache with picture as per slide. The cache is a uh, 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 which we uh, we locate it every housing area to. The public uh, store in the, the recycle item. And this uh, uh, cash maintenance dashboard, the management team will analyze and act based on report shows on uh, dashboard. We have around 1,174 cash around the time police. From that, we can get how many cash has uh, good or bad condition such as on uh, roof, body, rust, paint condition, uh, it has a padlock or not. From that management, easily calculate the cost based on specific damage on specific location. Okay, finally, our feature target is to make uh, E demands never hard as a GIS hub center for another region. We call it Smart MV Hub, where we have centralized database link and collaborated with other agencies, such as government agencies, local authority, private sector, universities, and public. That's all my presentation and sharing for today. For more information, you can contact me through email fdrahman at e-edaman.com. Thank you very much. And have a nice day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.